1,000 people will be diagnosed in the United States with a brain tumor, either metastatic or primary. And brain tumors now have the dubious distinction of being the second leading cancer killer of children under the age of 19. Further study is warranted. In fact, the International Agency for Research on Cancer has decided to conduct a nine-country study of whether cell phones cause brain tumors. While it's not clear at this moment whether cell phones cause brain tumors, what is clear is the growing public concern. I'd really like to speak. I worked in the industry for two and a half years, and I was diagnosed with a brain tumor in February of 1999. I was a specialist, a cellular specialist and known and recognized in the industry if you had any problems go take it to that girl and uh, dr joyce came on and he says you know honey sometimes one thing leads us to find another and he says you have a brain tumor there's such a big cover-up on this because of money it's very very difficult as you know to prove cause and effect when it comes to the energy modalities the brain tumors are probably going to begin they probably already are beginning to show up uh, in cell phone users it's going to take probably 10 to 15 years for it to show up in um, those who live near the cell towers, more than likely. And then it's going to take another two years to gather the data. It's going to take another three years for peer review. It's going to take another four years to end up in the journals. So we're 20 years away from holding this industry accountable. In the meantime, you do the math. There's billions of dollars at stake there that they're going to rake it, and they very cynically know how long it's going to take to prove this. The industry has in fact engaged in the research and has funded a tremendous amount of research since the early 90s. And what does that research indicate? The research indicates that there is no significant scientific uh, nexus between the use of cellular phones and a variety of different uh, health effects that have been investigated since. I would just like to highlight one issue that has not been raised to date, and that is that every federal agency that has examined this issue has determined, and I quote, uh, that the scientific evidence does not demonstrate any adverse health effects associated with the use of mobile phones. And that statement is from the FDA as recently as October of 1999. The FDA has said, after all these years, that they can't certify that the technology is safe or not safe. It seems to me, when you've got 25,000 of these cell phones being purchased a day, the fact that the FDA cannot certify them as safe should be cautionary. You know, your people say something, these people say something else, and I'm not going to determine who is right and who is wrong. However, I do want to hold the industry's feet to the fire, and I'll say this very, very clearly, that there is obviously some research out there that indicates that there might be some problems in terms of medical outcomes. Senator, do you have our commitment that we'll certainly work on the concept? We have to see the details, obviously, but we'll certainly be responsive. All right. Do I hear a motion? So moved. So moved by Senator Solis. Secretary, please call the roll. Escutia. Aye. Escutia. Aye. Haynes. Aye. 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 Measure passes. The truth is, I think we barely got that bill out of committee. Yeah. Because industry was just beating on people. <laughs> was to bring together scientists from all over the world as well as public health experts because to give a recommendation about safety levels for electromagnetic fields it's not only a question for the scientists it's also a question for the public health authorities so we have to bring them together to protect the public health the public is concerned all over the globe and it is now recognized all over the world that 
it might be possible to considerably lower the limits of exposure. Citizens are worldwide concerned and um, claiming for their democratic rights and uh, telecommunication industry has to understand that uh, their users have democratic rights uh, which have to be observed. The information we have in Japan is so much uh, uh, behind compared with the Scandinavian or European countries and at the moment. Uh, about 46% of the population, which is 57 million people using mobile phone, now are quickly penetrating into younger generation. And even at the moment, high school students are using this mobile phone. At the pace we are, we are increasing, then in the future, the younger generation in 10 years' time will be damaged. Microwave sensitivity has become a major problem in later years since the mobile telephone systems were built up in Sweden, you know. That was about 96, 97 that we had all those um, three different systems in Sweden and uh, now practically everything is covered.